2,500. <laughs> sorry. Jeez. Must have. I gotta go. Bloggy flips. So on these, okay, so I'm doing a dollar out of anything out of this, it's good off of this one. Good morning, man. How are you? Not too bad. How's it going? Good, thanks. Yeah, man. Hey, hey man, what's your name? Steven. Steven, nice to meet you. Yeah, Anthony. You hey, man, Chef. I've been watching you for a couple of years well, now. I appreciate that, Anthony. Good to see you, man. All right, man, you too. What are you doing on these? There's 13 of them. To do 30 bucks for the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. All right, what are you asking on the big boys here? I've been trying to sell this. I listed it about a, a week ago and my wife wants it out. So mm -hmm. uh, to find one that's not from Japan, it's hard. I would feel comfortable getting rid of this for 400 bucks. 400, okay, let me think about that. It has two games in it as well. Okay. Um, one game's worth 100 and one game's worth like 70, so. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can think about it. There's more other stuff over here. If okay. You, if you make it buy a lot, I'll make a really good deal for you. Cool, so. and these games are how much, the Xbox One games? Um, five bucks, there's some that, if you want to be, if you buy more, I'll give you a really good. Okay, get awesome. Here, so. Nice hey. to see you. I hey. watch all your videos. Oh, awesome. What's your name? Chris. Chris. Nice to meet you, man. Anthony. So I got so those. 30. And those. Ford be okay? Oh, yeah, sure. And then um, how are you pricing the Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Just out of curiosity. Um, I'm just gonna do on make, make an offer on this stuff. Okay. Uh, those are all bulk, and it's kind of you could tell a lot of them are used. And yeah. There might be occasional fake ones. I I don't <laughs> buy it from this guy in a storage unit, so we go get the Pokemon cards soon. Okay. Hey, I enjoy your videos. Oh, thank you so much, man. What's I'm your name? Tony. Tony. Nice, nice to meet you, man. Anthony. Thank you. Reason I can't find him in there, so I'll, I'll look for him if you're coming back. Oh, it's okay, yeah. I'll probably just loop back around when I'm done. There is the 40 I owe you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. Morning, sir. Well, morning, how are you? Better than I deserve. How about you? Not bad, thanks. Glad to see your YouTube. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's, That's crazy. Cool. Welcome. Cool, man. What's your name? Poss. Poss. Anthony. Anthony. Nice yes. to meet you. I saw you went to our luxurious tour toy store south side toys that episode oh yeah, yeah and you bought a cool batman thing. man that thing is awesome yeah this guy's famous b <laughs> but almost as famous as me <laughs> well that explains why i don't know you right oh <laughs> uh. yes. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Everything's just two dollars each over there. Over here? All the all the, toy, the figures on the table are okay. two dollars. The wrestlers are three in the bottom each. Okay. Down here. That's everybody. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> He's a toy treasure hunter. Okay. I try to be. Well, that's cool. And the the these are the the rare ones sure. that I found. And I was, I was getting 20 a piece. I think that silver one goes for 40 or 50 on eBay. Okay. I might grab this. You gonna get them? Uh, yeah, I okay. just might. I'll, I'll keep them here for Okay. You. Greetings. Hello. How are you guys doing? Good. Oh, man. I didn't even know I had a Tommy Maddox. How much you have on these guys? Uh, $10 each. Ten, okay. So can I make a little power right here? Absolutely. I love this stuff.
in that box, every one of them was a dollar. Okay. Or if you feel like something's less than a dollar, you can make an offer. Okay. Lots of dark night in there. Five each, yeah. There's lots of dark night near the bottom, and they look brand new. Okay. Now, I do have a rare one in, in this folder. Is that the uh, Iron Fist 14? Is that the... the with the uh, saber tooth? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how much you ask on that one? Well, I put 300 on it. Okay. But I'm willing to take an offer on that as okay. well. And you can look at all of those, but there's some Iron Fist near the end there. Those are all the good ones. You heard about it already. I saw the picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, oh, that's right. I put it out there. And I just wrote on the plastic with a, you know, an approximate oh, okay. 20. I kind of like, since they weren't like in pristine shape, sure. went, like with a third or a half of what they were going for. Like that Iron Fist 14 or whatever it is. If it's perfect, they're like a four, $4,000. Oh yeah, man. So I'm gonna take all that. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Enjoy, thank you. You can uh, you can grab a couple of the other ones if you want, and for free. Just grab a few and put it in there. Okay. Enjoy. It's a treasure hunt. Yeah. Okay, I'm making a mental list. Okay. I'm definitely interested in thing. that. Okay. It's a it's a cool one. It is cool. Saber tooth. Uh, I didn't even know it was in the box when I bought the whole box. That's nice. That yeah. that doesn't happen a lot. It was my surprise. <laughs> and then. Those are all individually priced, but I'm willing to take an offer. Okay. It is a yard sale. It is a yard sale. I'm the guy that pulls the rare zebra, but it's somebody who's not worth anything. <laughs> I stopped trying to pull cards. Because of that. God. Much have on the amputees? Just a dollar each. Okay. They're not all there. <laughs> and any of those are three dollars each. Three dollars each. Yeah. Or if you them all, you can save. Yeah, man. Any clue how many are in here? I might do that. I had sixty, but I, I sold a few, a handful this morning. Okay. And they were wearing Star Wars stuff, so it was like I felt really good about it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Where are you? I think there's like 39 or so left. Well, That's well. my guess. Okay. I mean, I, I don't have to be exact because, you know, whatever I get is what I get. <laughs> right on. Can we do 75 on the tote? Absolutely. Okay. Deal. Hallelujah. <laughs> I should be able to find a box for you. Okay. But if you buy a whole bunch more, I'll let you fill that tote up. Perfect. <laughs> and have the tote. Is my last stop, so. There you go. Oh, okay. He man. Try to load up. He's a little rough. The old thunder punch. Yeah. Right, what do we have on that? Seventy-five. Seventy-five. He's cool. Probably worth it, but I would break it. Uh. <laughs> Taking offers on this tote too. Yeah. Okay. And I'll like the pieces to the that. This guy right here. In there too. Okay. Lots, there's chairs and all kinds of stuff. For... We do another seventy-five. On that net. Yep. Okay. They are the 99 2000s. Right. They all price individually. Um, I, I usually just look at my TCG player and yeah. go a little less than that. But if you wanted all of them, I'm I'm willing to make a deal today. Do you have a number, or or I would be this whole stack? Yeah. A hundred dollars, which is way less than refill. Okay. And I would even add the pocket monsters in it. Okay. And these are all like jungle and first, not first editions, but uh, 
you know, the 99, 2000. And oh, okay. Each one of the, there's like 60 in here. Sure. And they're all between a dollar and three dollars. So I was like 40 for the whole. Okay. Whole little thing of those. All right, so if, if we did all these, it'd be 140? 140, yep. We had three on the Iron Fist. Yep. I'm at like 170-ish. All right, I'm going to shoot out an offer. Okay. Okay. All these Pokemon cards. Right. The Iron Fist. Uh-huh. And the Elvira. Okay. 380. 380. Plus all the other stuff. Plus the other stuff. Yep. Um, yes. Yep. Cool. That'll work. I like it. <laughs> Okay. So 380 plus 150. And then I have those two ten dollar guys. Yeah, one six one seventy. And I had I pulled these before. You can yeah. So, Alright, so there's what I got on those. I'll just throw those in. Okay. So Okay. Plus plus the three eighty? so bad at math that's why i have to okay. your mic it sounds really easy let me think right that's five four five fifty maybe 70. it's two thousand five hundred <laughs> sorry jeez <laughs> must have... i gotta go sorry <laughs> it was uh 550 yeah. 550 okay so that would be awesome and iron fist congratulations that's on, cool man on iron fist I knew that would attract somebody. <laughs> I was the guy. So, okay, there we are. Okay, so we got 151, 52, 53, 54, 55, 50. There we right? go. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm happy, happy, happy. There we go, man. All right. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, what would you have on the alien? Five dollars. I know he's worth more than that, but you spent a lot of money so far. Appreciate that. Thank you. You got it, bro. Thank you so much, man. Take it easy. It. Hey, take, you, gotcha. Uh, enjoy making more film. I will, man. <laughs> all right we are back here in the garage and i am thrilled with the quality of yard sales that i'm finding so far this year picked up a lot of great stuff got a lot to show you so real quick let's just get into it from the first sale we got the smaller haul a lot of really great stuff there uh some really nice higher end video game stuff but a lot of that stuff is really out of my comfort zone stuff i don't really necessarily seek out so i uh decided to leave it all behind but i am happy with what i did buy i think i spent 40 bucks total here got the old barbie star vet not in great condition but it does have the box and the windshield it's missing like some racks and stuff the decals have seen better days i think i could still probably get 15 or 20 for it got a little stack of manga vhs i'll either pop two bucks a piece on these or I'll, I'll put them in a manga lot or something just a couple shots in the dark here the uh play school yoda and the cars race team mater um don't really think these are worth too much but I, I i didn't pay too much when you think about it either so it's fine and then got 13 of these like comic book art wooden plaque things that you hang on the wall only paid 30 bucks for all these and they're really cool i mean they're not super old they're they're uh, pretty modern you can probably find them at a lot of places but i figure 10 bucks a piece on these i'll hang them on the wall they'll be good decoration until they sell and at 30 bucks for the set i think that was quite a good deal uh we got some star wars in there x-men the incredible Hall number 110 star wars number seven amazing spider-man 122 legends of the dark knight number 50 silver surfer number 17 and action comics number 25 very cool 30 bucks for the stack i'll sell them for 10 bucks a piece and they'll look cool on display until they sell at the next sale here i actually spent 555 dollars which uh, no matter how you slice it is a lot of money to spend at a yard sale but I honestly got some great deals. I'm super happy with these buys. And I did actually kind of regret not buying more of the Loose Turtles and the Bulk comics. Uh, but when I got home, I had a message from the guy running the sale, kind of introducing himself. Turns out his name is Haas. Uh, he's a stand-up comedian and a pastor and just a super nice guy with an affinity for treasure hunting and sports cards and stuff like that. He performs like clean, family-friendly stand-up comedy, uh, which I can really appreciate having two little kids at home. Anyway, I will link his website down below if anyone wants to check it out. Uh, like I said super nice guy that he did not sell many of the uh, loose turtles or the comics so we actually made a deal I went back and picked up all the rest of it there's something like 400 comics in here which are great great filler inventory just got to get them bagged up and priced and get them out of here but let's get back to the buys that you did see I got this whole bin of Star Wars figures these are all from the 90s I normally ignore these I don't I don't love dealing with them um, but most of the time when I see them there's only a couple at a sale five or ten dollars a piece for them and it's just not worth it he was only asking three 
three a piece for each of them and he was open to offers there's like 40 or 45 in here i paid 75 dollars for the entire bin and most of these i can price at like six or eight bucks a piece and go drop them off it'll take them a while to all sell but at this point i have less than two bucks a piece into them like a dollar something so that is a fine buy right there and it does work in my situation. It may not work in yours. And then we have the bin of wrestling stuff. Also paid $75 for this entire bin. Now most, if not all of these are uh, Jack's brand, which are not my favorite wrestling figures to deal with. They don't seem to command as much value, but I figured that there was enough stuff in here that $75 was a, was a pretty safe buy, another shredder. But we do have the uh, 1999 Jack's Stone Cold belt right here. This can sell for like 30 to 60 bucks on its own. So that, that actually should get quite a bit of the money back. A lot of these accessories do pretty well on their own too, like the wheelchair can do well. And then we have trash cans and stretchers and stuff like that. And then we'll just lot up the rest of these in small lots. You know, like lots of 10 or so for 20 or 30 bucks. And they'll do okay. This part of the deal here was was uh, pretty fantastic. All this together was $25. And that is just your classic garage sale home run. Got two of these 40th anniversary Darth Vader figures, the uh, Legacy Pack. And these actually appear to sell better if you take them out of this big box and just sell that carded figure right there. And I think that's because uh, shipping goes up quite a bit in this big box. So in that case, they tend to sell for like 30 to 50 bucks a piece. So very cool. Got two of those. Got the LJN Macho Man Randy Savage. Not in great condition. Needs to uh, clean up a little bit, but I'm still thinking 20 or 25 bucks on him. Got the Stone Protector Troll, another five or ten dollars. Got the Auto Mutations Bebop. These usually go for about 15 bucks or so. Um, his action does still work. If I can pull it down with one hand. There we go. There he is. Auto Mutations Bebop. Got the 1992 uh, Movie Star TMNT Foot Soldier. These usually go for like 15 to 20 bucks on their own. Loose with no accessories. Got the 2013 NECA Xenomorph probably 25 or 30 bucks loose like this. And then the best part of it is the broken G.I. Joes, believe it or not. When I first saw these, they didn't really catch my attention because I thought they were modern, but these are vintage, like mid 60s to early 70s G.I. Joes. And as you can see, they're, they're uh, missing parts, like a hand here. This guy is missing both of his feet, but he does have both arms and hands. This one is the Australian Jungle Fighter. Needs cleaned up a little bit, but like even like the jacket, it can sell for up to 30 bucks on its own, along with the shorts here, can sell for 20 or 30 bucks on their own. This pair of pants, I think is probably pretty similar. They're also Hasbro branded, but parting these figures out can be pretty crazy. I mean, like you can sell the head of this uh, redhead blue eye guy here. You can sell the arm with the hand. You can sell the feet, the legs, the torso you can sell. The Jungle Fighter's head does pretty well on its own. He's got two arms that are good to sell. So yeah, don't be afraid to uh, pick up broken vintage G.I. Joe 12-inch figures because even for parts, they can do really well. And then the last part of the deal was the most expensive part of the deal. Ended up paying $380 for two comic books and a stack of Pokemon cards. The Pokemon cards, these are all vintage cards, like earlier series. Most of them are in pretty fantastic condition. I would say near mints, probably unplayed on most of these. Got a nice combination of uh, first editions and unlimited cards from different series. A lot of like one to ten dollar cards throughout here. I think we have some ten to twenty dollar cards. I've not looked up every single one yet. We have all these like Japanese pocket monster cards and got some hollows mixed into it. Got a big stack of older commons, but just these two cards alone, I think pay for the stack. We have the first edition, Electabuzz here, nice hollow. In this condition, I think this card should sell for between like 50 and 100 somewhere. And then we have the unlimited version of the Team Rocket Dark Dragonite. Very, very nice condition near mint, I would say. Um, I'm thinking this one should sell in the 25 to $30 range, but it's a very nice lot of old Pokemon cards that you just don't see a lot at a garage sale. And I'll admit that I've gotten pretty lucky with Pokemon cards so far this year, but it never loses its fun when you when you happen upon them. And then we have two comic books. Uh, very cool indeed. We have Elvira number five, and we have Iron Fist number 14. This is the first appearance of Sabretooth. Very sought after comic. Very excited to have found it. It's in decent condition. I, I don't think I would, I would have this one graded or anything, because I don't think a grade would help it necessarily on the open market. But just kind of studying comps of issues that have sold recently, kind of comparing the condition of this one to to the condition of others I think that this is a three to five hundred dollar comic to the right buyer I mean high grades can go for a lot more this one's pretty mid-grade based on my research that's that's kind of how I'm feeling so super happy to have found that I think mixed into this $380 lot that was a great deal and then Elvira's house of mystery number five this one can sell for like 20 to 50 it's in better condition than the iron fist just got this one because I was a huge Elvira fan as a kid kind of used this to sweeten the deal but all in all I am super happy with this deal 
And if I could find a yard sale that looked like this every single week, I would be, I would be a happy fella. All right, that is all I got for you this time. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching the video, but until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya, bye. When they hear that cha-ching, and they all look at me, I guess they'll know I'm buying this crap.